Okay, Evan, we've got a twofer coming up for you. Twofer video. Um, first up is your 6139, uh, 6000, uh, what is this one? I should have all this memorized, I'm sorry. Too many watches. So yeah, it is, it's a 6005. Um, this is your 6139, 6005. It's a very nice looking watch. Um, Clearly original. I mean, all the things I look for when I see an original watch are here. The seal is ancient. It's like plastic. The button seals are, again, they're like plastic. The movement looks bright. It's very nice. Um, and it is uh, it is running suspiciously well um, for a movement this old. Um, I mean, it's giving me some really good numbers. Um, I would tell you that seeing these kind of numbers out of a uh, an unrestored watch of this age usually are usually makes me actually think that there's something amiss inside as crazy as that sounds i often see numbers like this out of an unrestored watch when there's stuff inside like loose screws um i was getting some crazy numbers out of this one earlier i mean like it was running in like the th in the above 300 which is just these don't run that high they just don't um, and you can see we're getting a good deal of variability. But overall, the movement is still, it looks good. I mean, we're getting straight pumping lines out. We've got a little bit of noise, nothing major. The numbers are dropping a little bit. It definitely looks good. Um, all I would say is if this were my watch, I wouldn't trust those numbers at all. Um, the watch does not look like it's ever been serviced to me. Uh, and it's, it's, even if it's showing these numbers now, it's not going to show these numbers for long, uh, if you were to run it for a long time, but it's up to you. Um, it certainly is a nice watch. Me personally, I'd, I'd go for the service. I do all of that stuff. So, uh, just, just to make sure about what's going on because the numbers are dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping. Okay, I mean, but they're not bad. It's definitely a great candidate for a rebuild. Okay, so we are now gonna, I'm gonna put you down. Here is your helmet. And we're gonna see what the numbers tell us here. By the way, certain things, I love, this watch is completely original. This grot and grok in here amazes me. Didn't guys in the 70s clean their watches? But this tells me that it's original. It's never been messed with, and it's 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 intact. Again, the movement is bright and clear. You can even see the nice reflection in the silver plates, and it's you know it's it's definitely good. This one is running with much more normal numbers for an unrestored watch of its age. It's got a few things going on. Definitely got some chatter. Definitely got some beat error. Um, numbers aren't bad, but they're not great. Um, I mean, it's what we expect. This is what I expect to see, not um, a 6139 pumping out numbers in the 300s. But again, it's not it's not bad. Um, ooh, 133. Well, you know, it's an unrestored original watch. All the functions on both watches work. the The chronograph stops, it starts, it resets to zero in both cases. Um, this watch really, really needs love. It's running very weakly. Uh, I don't anticipate that it would give us any mechanical trouble right at this point simply because I don't see anything. I wouldn't know until I got in there, but I mean, it's it's running fine. It's just really, really, really weak. Great watches though. I mean, in terms of cosmetic condition, the stuff that can't be repaired, these watches are both great. Good stuff. Okay, bye.